Hello and welcome to this TechnicForce tutorial. In this video we're going to discuss how to integrate autoresponders into CloudFunnels. CloudFunnels has its own autoresponder built in in the Sequences tab and you can learn more about that in the tutorial on Sequences. CloudFunnels also supports Zapier integration which you can use to integrate your autoresponders and we have a tutorial on that as well. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to integrate your autoresponders directly into CloudFunnels. So first, let's click on the Autoresponders tab. Here we'll see a list of the various autoresponder setups that we already have, and we can also create new. CloudFunnels supports integration of various autoresponders including MailEngine, ActiveCampaign, ConstantContact, GetResponse, HubSpot, MailChimp, Entreport, and Aweber. The setup process is fairly similar for each. Let's do an example with MailChimp. So first, we'll give this specific setup a name. We'll call this one Demo. Next, we're going to need an API key from MailChimp, as well as the list ID. And we'll need to provide a unique email that's not present in this existing list. So for our email, let's enter our admin email. Now we'll go to MailChimp and we'll find our API key and list ID. So to start with the API key, let's go to the top here and we'll select our user profile and select account. Next, under the extras tab, we'll select the drop down menu and we can select API keys. Here we'll see a list of keys we've already generated and if we want to create a new one, we can just click create a key. Now we can select the key we just created, copy that to our clipboard, head back to CloudFunnels, and paste that into the field for API key. Now we need a list ID. To get that, we'll go back to MailChimp, and we'll go back to our dashboard, and we will view our audiences. So the list that we want to copy here is tutorials, but it's not the list name that we're after, it's the list ID. So to get that, we'll go over to the options menu and select settings. Then we can scroll down to the bottom and we'll find the unique ID for this audience called tutorials. So we'll copy that, head back to CloudFunnels, paste that in the list ID field. And now our entries are complete, we can go ahead and authenticate and save. If you get a credentials error, a likely source is the email that you provided. Notice that CloudFunnels requires a unique email ID not present in the list. So if we take a look at the list of subscribers for this specific list, we'll see that we have actually subscribed using our admin email. So we'll go ahead and archive this. And that removes our admin email from this list. And now we should be clear to save. And there we go. The API details have been saved successfully. So now if we close this screen and we refresh our autoresponders module, we'll see our new autoresponder setup has been added. And if we have more than one autoresponder to add, either from the same company or others, we can just go ahead and create new and repeat the process using similar credentials from the various providers. So now that we've configured our autoresponder, let's see how to set one up inside of our funnels and test it out. So we'll go to funnels and sites and we'll choose one of our funnels here. Select this webinar sign up and we'll edit the funnel. And we'll select the registration page and go to page settings. So now we'll scroll down on the page settings and under the drop down menu, select autoresponders. We'll open that and we'll select the autoresponder that we just set up. It was called demo. And we'll save our settings. 
Now let's go back to our main funnel and open this in a new tab. And here's our registration page. We'll give ourselves a name and an email address. and then register. Now normally we would expect a confirmation page to appear here within our funnel, but if we go back and look at Cloud Funnels, we'll see that our thank you page, we have not selected a template or built a page yet. So that's the reason why we didn't get a confirmation there. So let's go to MailChimp now, and we'll check our subscribers list. And here we see from the API source that we've collected two new signups. This is our admin email that we used to configure the autoresponder setup. And here is the signup that we just did under the registration page. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.